Hey everybody, good morning. Um, I just want to come in here today and talk about <clears throat> how to, hey, how to talk to a blind person. Um, yes, how to talk to a blind person. Have you ever talked with a blind person? You know, sometimes uh, we just don't we just don't know how to talk to a blind person. I'm a blind person, so how do you talk to me? <laughs> um, well, normal, just like you talk to anybody else. You know, some people are concerned about the whether they say listen or whether they say see you later or whether they whether you say hey let's let's uh let's go see this movie and uh you know when you're dealing with blind people don't treat them like aliens okay <laughs> it's not anybody's fault it's not anybody's fault so if you've ever fallen into this trap of thinking, how do I deal with this guy? Um, you don't have to worry. Uh, normal. Just behave as if you would you would behave with anybody else. And uh, why do I say this? Because uh, I just went to a, a training recently on it, and uh, and I thought, you know, it'd be great to bring this up and to talk about uh, blindness as it as it relates to dealing with um, <clears throat> people out in the community. You know, I I I. Another misconception about blindness is that blind people practically stay home and uh, don't do anything, right? That's the general, a general statement, not a, a broad statement. Um, many people have asked me, what do you do? You know, what can you do as a blind person? Well, I'm a fully functional blind person. I just ha don't happen to see, right? So I do have... Uh, my own business, yes, and uh, I also uh, work with customers who are blind and visually impaired, blind, visually impaired, meaning uh, they can't see, right? I work with attorneys who are blind, I work with uh, people who are in the, and, and many, many different sectors who are blind, and we work with technology uh, for people who are visually impaired. Um, how does it work? One of these days, I'm going to do a demonstration for all of you. I know that many of you that follow me are not blind. Many of you that follow me are blind. Um, and whatever you call it, whether it's blindness or if you're visually impaired, whatever makes you comfortable, that's what it is. And um, I've, I've always looked at uh, blindness as a another thing to overcome, right? Uh, many of us have different challenges. One of the major challenges that we have is dealing with our challenges. So it's a duality. If you look at the duality of each of us, many of us have difficulty dealing with our challenges. What is my challenge? My challenge is blindness. And once we overcome that a little bit, right? And we begin to see the world for the potential that it has, then we overcome blindness. Well, that's, like, that's easier said than done, right, Jose? Yes, it is. It is easier said than done. But I, I, I would say um, I invite you uh, to explore, okay? Take the opportunity to do something that, that's going to get you out of that situation. And um, um, blindness is no different than anything else that you can encounter in your life. It's highly challenging. I, I, don't, I don't attempt to minimize it, okay? <laughs> I don't attempt to minimize it. Why? Um, because I've been through it. I know how difficult it is to be blind. It took me three years from the time that I went blind uh, to the time that I started to become productive again. What I mean by productive is how do I get out of the situation? What do I do? Who do I seek help from? At first, I didn't want anybody to help me. I felt completely helpless, but I also felt like I wanted nobody to help me because I felt totally inadequate. And that's okay to feel that way. It's okay that a challenge gives you uh, trepidation. It's okay when a challenge gives you fear. It, it, that is our normal um, reaction to challenges. It is either to fight or to flight. And uh, when you fly away, it's okay too when you hide out, when you feel like, hey, you know what? I want to get out of this. I don't want to deal with this. It's okay too. You, you can do that once in a while. But, but my suggestion is don't stay there too long, all right? Keep looking for ways to improve. 
And uh, for those of you who uh, deal with blind people, just my biggest advice today is be normal. You know, you don't have to treat blind people like aliens. They're not. I'm not, right? Um, I'm a productive member of society. Um, I just don't happen to see. So if you work, if you see a blind person out on the road with a cane or with a dog, right? Um, look at that. Look at that person as a regular, normal person who is out there just like you are, with your challenges, your concerns, your trepidations, your issues, everything that you've got. Everybody's got in this world. We are one. We are one, okay, with each other. We depend on each other to take care of each other. That's why we have communities and we have all kinds of ways to cope. And so today I just wanted to come in and say this a little bit because I thought it was important. I hope you all have a wonderful day and uh, see you all on the other side. Maybe later on today, maybe tomorrow. Have a great day.